Friends podcast. How are you? I hope that you are well wherever you are, sitting in the car, if you're getting ready, um, going on a hot girl walk. Um, it is going to be a very great episode today. It's going to be a little different too. It's very exciting. Um, so we are in like my batch recording era in WTF Media, which is very exciting. And today I have a very, very special guest. This is Arwen Sellis. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on the pod. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So me and Arwen met at an event uh, back in November, actually. And then I think it was that same trip or maybe it was a trip after. I don't know. Like we went out to dinner with Faithlin, which you guys have heard on the pod before. Mm -hmm. Went out to dinner to Ula, my favorite. And then we went to my favorite dessert place. And us girls just. That was the that best was time. Such a good night. Like, it was just such a girl's girl night. You didn't even tell me that she was coming. No. No, there was a third person. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, yeah, like, she's coming. I was like, who is she? But then we clicked. Like, it was such good vibes. Like, it was such, like, just all of us together. And it was definitely, I, it was, <laughs> it was probably a little rude. I'm just like, hey, I'm just going to gather people that you don't know. Um, but I was like, no, you know, I think these are going to be good friends. It's going to be so fun. And it was, yeah. we I almost pissed myself laughing that night. It was that so good. That was so good. funny. Oh my gosh. No, we were, I remember recording. Yeah. And yeah, we were, we were having such a good time and we're all content great. Um, we played, yeah, because we were sitting at dessert and we were like, this is so funny that we have to record. And oh, we played the game where you are like telling a story and it was, yeah, but everybody's one word. So it was like, grandma oh. went to the house and yes. we just kept going. It was so dumb. And I'm telling it you guys, genuinely it, so was, stupid, it was so it good. Was stupid, funny. Yeah, it was one of those, like, you know, those nights where you are with people that, and at this point, like, we didn't know each other for very long, but it felt like we had known each other forever. Yes. But you're just with your people, good mm -hmm. friends and you're just, you cannot stop laughing. My stomach hurts so bad. It was such a joyous yeah. night. I'm so excited to have you on the podcast. Like that just makes sense. Can you give a little bit of intro on who you are, what you do, all the things okay. for anybody who, do who doesn't know you? Okay, so I am a fashion and beauty content creator who's also a fashion student at FIT in Midtown Manhattan. So I do a lot of couple things, makeup, fashion, like I said, but I also do vlogs for what it's like to be a fashion student it's definitely not a normal college experience no it is no. you're it's such an if, as somebody who went I didn't even go to like a traditional college but definitely more traditional than FIT it's fascinating and I think that especially people who are outside of New York yeah. I love watching what FIT, really? FIT people do no it's it's like it's so interesting you guys are mm -hmm. so cool and your videos one your makeup transitions are so good Thank your makeup you. videos are phenomenal her makeup always looks this perfect by the way it's <laughs> Stop. atrocious oh she looks like this in real life it's insane and uh your fashion videos are so good I'm like trying to up my fashion game so I love watching those and yeah I, I'd love to hear more about your time like as an FIT student what's that like sure. like yeah okay are you one. from New York I'm from Jersey you're from Jersey yeah. yes so okay. I've grown up near New York I've been to New York like so many times but it's still such a different experience to live in the city mm -hmm. it's a whole other world like I'm literally across the Hudson but it's still different and my parents are like are you sure you want a dorm like you could commute and I'm like no like I'm living the experience yeah and I think it's good to be like immerse yourself mm -hmm. yeah exactly we don't have frats or sororities yeah it is not like that um s most of us didn't even know we even had like um athletes like because it's a fashion yeah because like i remember i was talking about like a swim I, wait hold on you guys have athletics yeah really i know most like people that i go to class with don't even know that i just became friends with someone on our like volleyball team oh my god apparently there's something like there's also a swim team and i think they swim in like tribeca or something but like i did anyone know that fit had athletics like no like no one knows and then apparently there's like we have two basements in one of our buildings mm -hmm. and there's like a lower basement i don't know it's weird there's a basement under a basement oh but one time i hit it's called a dun are you is that are you being are you f being funny or is it actually called a dungeon <laughs> we're, we're gonna call it a dungeon, a dungeon? <laughs> he said it's called a dungeon oh, i remember hitting yeah the wrong button it's called the torture like, chamber i was like this is this is not the basement because that's where the mail room is and i get like my pr package. yeah and then i was like and i hear like basketballs and i'm like 
what i'm confused and so i started walking and there's like courts you just go and you're like there's just like there's a basketball team down here Yeah, there's like a gym there's all of that and i'm like okay this is like hidden i'm like i'm confused like i mean it's cool yeah it's cool are you guys is it mainly women would you say or is there like a really good mix it's mainly women. it's mainly women i basically yeah. say like i basically feel like i live in an all girls yeah. school so i went like, to an all girls college really mm -hmm. and yeah, it's, it just feels like that so yeah um i feel like it would be different than fit though what is the what is the academic atmosphere like is it very like rigorous and competitive or are people kind of in their own lanes because it's also like such an artistic vibe i think that people usually are doing other jobs as well and they're like practicing their own craft what would you say how would you describe like the vibe at the school i feel like the curriculum is very interesting because when i talk about my classes like the title of each class that i have people would be like okay i don't understand like what is that yeah. class and i always have to explain what when i saw that you were in a lab i was like what like you guys I have know, labs no it was so funny so i have these two joined like classes where it's called product elements and principles and then product elements and principles laboratory and when i say that to my friends they're like what does that what mean? is that like, but also any college class like usually like mm -hmm. unless it's saying like calculus two college class names don't make any sense they will say the weirdest actually they're like we're going to look into the political and financial dynamics of the harry potter universe and i'm like sick amazing <laughs> yeah so that class is like product development. You learn about textiles and then like the details of your clothing. Yeah. And it was really interesting because my professor brought out like two volunteers. Actually, no, they didn't volunteer. They just called down that. <laughs> you did volunteer. So we're like, you I'm will so be, glad you're voluntold that no, you're going to do this. I was so glad I didn't get called down. And we were talking about like knits and wovens. And like, it's just, I've talked about this to my roommate before. It's weird because you're the fashion industry and all that you learn is a whole other world. And yeah. The terminology. There's so much terminology, by the way, which you feels like you're learning a whole different language. And I'm not going to lie. It's intimidating because what you're learning, you know, is supposed to be common sense if you're in the industry. Mm -hmm. But un like anyone, an average person would not know yeah. at all. So we're like learning about knits and wovens, textiles, the construction of clothes and all of that and so many different terms. And then like the professor is talking about it as if it's just like, yeah, like it's common sense. And we're supposed to know that too. I was like, what? Like I was what, confused. What are you, what are you crazy. saying? They're like, so look at, look at the other person's clothes. So is that knit or is that woven? And then the student was like, um, what? um that's the you just said the same word twice like what do you mean yeah that's crazy so i feel like in the fashion industry feels pretty unattainable i think from the outside world and that definitely i think adds to it because there is more there's so much more knowledge behind it and so you're literally going over a knowledge barrier it's not just that oh it's fashion and so people are like dressed in nice clothes it is literally like a knowledge barrier i think there's also yeah. such a misunderstanding on like the jobs that are available yeah. do you going to fit i think would help this because i feel like mm -hmm. like any art any career that also is woven in like an art yeah. form, mm -hmm. usually I think people are like, oh, it's so hard to get a job. But I think if going to a fashion school, you are, I would hope exposed to a lot of what these jobs could offer. And like, yeah. you're like, oh, there's actually like so much out there. Mm -hmm. Do you feel intimidated by it? Are you like, or are you like, no, this has really taught me like there's so many avenues that you can go. I'm actually like really excited. And the school is perfect because the professors have been in this industry for so long and they have connections all over the city and more. So it's just great. They provide so much opportunities for us and also we're required to get an internship like, yeah. as like like class credit. So it's That's actually good. like really good. And they, Fashion Week is happening. And- What is Fashion Week like oh at FIT? Gosh. I have okay. to know. So exciting. So one of my friends went to class and she posted about this literally like for 30 minutes, they were just going through, a, like the teacher was putting up on the projector, the best outfits of the Grammys. And they were talking about it for 30 minutes. And then for me, I had like a one hour documentary, which, which does sound boring, but it was literally how Fashion Week started in New York. You're joking. It's so 
Interesting. And then I know one of my assignments, not really a, an assignment, but yeah, it's a part of like, I guess, a, like lessons we're learning, like prints and patterns. Next class for one of my classes is that I have to like show up in like a trendy pattern or print and we just like talk about it. It's just so interesting. And during Halloween was actually a lot more interesting. Than really? That. Yes, because everyone popped off with their costumes in class. I could not. Serious. Y- it, there has to be so much pressure to look good like every day. Oh yeah, that's one thing. So you know in high school, the common like thing to wear is like hoodies. Yeah. And no, you know, like people are wearing pajamas to school. And it, but it's yeah. like, it's not like a world wearing pajamas. It's like you have the lonely ghost like yeah. sweatpants and you've got yeah. the Ugg boots and then the brandy yeah. tank top. It's mm-hmm. like, but so it's a fit, but it it is chill. I, I don't think that would fly. Uh, it FIT. is the opposite. I remember growing, and this is what I love about my school because I remember growing up in high school where everyone was just like, oh, like some girls would be like, oh, I love your fits or whatever. But like a lot would just, you know, it'd be like, why are you so dressed like, up? Why are you so dressed up? Yeah. Blah, blah. Like, or they're like, I could never like wake up so early and like wear oh my God. makeup and stuff. And oh my like, God. Okay, good for you. Good for you. But it's- Sorry, I put in effort. That sucks. <laughs> I hate it. I hate my life. <laughs> it's a reverse. You like everyone just shows up in high heels. The heels would have me cackling. Like that everybody's like clonking oh, around in these giant heels. Going oh my god. In our like campus. So I'm just like, how do you do it with your stilettos? Like I'm confused. I'm con- I mean, I just show up in my platform b- boots. I'm I'm that type of girl. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, like they just show up and it's just like I remember one time I woke up late and I just showed up in like a hoodie and yeah. pants and I felt like, I'm like, I feel so underdressed. Like, this is weird. It's a whole other environment, but I love it. Yeah. Love it, the know? the inspiration, like the creativity and mm-hmm. like the, yeah, I think the inspiration, you just constantly yeah. feel like this energy to create. Mm-hmm. And I think that's so fun. How, how, do you guys like, do you guys go like shopping or like is thrifting like a big thing? Mm-hmm. Are people, are people very brand oriented um, or is it more like, no, just like personal style? People, yes. Personal style. A lot. So there's some people that are like very much like designer only, which mm-hmm. I mean, not Pop my off. type of thing, yeah. but like, you know, and there's a big thing at our school is like sustainability and thrifting. Mm. And the professors love talking about fast fashion. It's been in like every class. I mean, it makes sense because yeah. that's very much like a thing right now. I love that that is yeah. in the curriculum of like yeah. the future people of this industry. Yeah. That's very nice. There's to also hear. social media class. That's nice. <laughs> Which I that's tried to very get nice. into, but like that's everyone. really smart though because yeah, that is it's it's such a necessary part of like yeah. what you guys will be doing. It'll most likely be mm-hmm. a part of all of your jobs. Are there so many influencers, or do you still feel like or like one like there's more than often more than normal but it's not everybody it's not everybody but it's it is more than normal compared because I grew up in a small town Mm -hmm. yeah which is like like you there's not influencers yeah everyone knew me as the tiktoker and then now it's just like not even just influencers in general like everyone just loves making content yeah like taking pictures everywhere, making videos, making what a vlogs. Fun. It like it feels so like fun. camp. Like it's like it's social media it's camp. So fun. Oh my God. Yeah. So there is, yeah, we have a social media class. We have a styling class. <gasps> I know. I want to take the I'm like, do they have a remote like thing I can sign up for? I, is, part of me wants to go insane. and get like some I want to go back to school in some capacity and study videography and I want to study fashion. Like I I just love learning. I think it'd be so interesting. It's just, I love that school so much. Yeah. And then it's just because everyone is unique. Yeah. And I look at the outfits and I'm like, I feel like it's fashion week every, every week. week. Oh my God. Exactly. That is so fun. I have to, I feel like you guys have to be so busy though. Like it has, to, I feel like yes. everybody must be backstage working bad. the shows. Like, oh yeah. Fashion week. Everyone is backstage. I mean, I'm going to events, so I'm not doing that. But a lot of my friends, my roommates, they're all working and yeah. the professors are providing like contact emails everything oh, that's so great. which is like yeah, yeah. It's sick my roommate actually worked backstage as a stand-in model for um mark jacobs <gasps> yeah oh my god that's yeah. so cool 
So stand in models, you kind of just like, I think they just see how it looks on yeah. the runway. You don't actually model for the show, but like. But that's like a, cool. that's the, the context just that you get from like that. The, the like whole state. Oh my God. It was. I would insane. geek out. I really would. I'm gonna, I've never been to a fashion show before. And so, yeah, I'm gonna go to a few while I'm here. I like don't know i didn't know how to like get into anything i my management sent me and like got me invited to a couple or uh, not a couple like really? one and then i think we're trying to get into another one but then i didn't even know that they were like ticketed like i didn't know you could buy tickets to fashion shows you oh yeah yeah i, I had i just i don't know i had no I idea i thought it was like a very who you know type of thing yeah, I just, i'll need to learn more from you and yeah we'll need to chat because i want to i'm like i think that there's a way to do this and i'm positive like me coming in i'm going to blow it or like do something wrong so we're gonna it is like stressful mm -hmm. because one thing i've noticed is that invites to fashion shows during fashion week is very last minute it is yeah I, I was got it like a day before and they're like oh are you able to come like my managers yeah. were literally like it's last minute i don't but yeah it's so last minute. i was told to just keep your like just they're like keep it open and be here you will have things to go to and so far that's true but i'm i'm like it's for me, yes. it's still like trickling in. It's mm -hmm. Thursday right now. Mm -hmm. And like Friday, Saturday, I think is where like everything happens. So I'm, yeah. I don't know. It's really, um, I was a little stressed because I didn't know if I'd get invited. Mm -hmm. I literally forgot that you get invited last minute. Yeah. So I don't have anything to wear because I didn't plan anything. Mm -hmm. And then I have like I have a fashion show Saturday, a showroom Sunday and like I'm no, we'll have to. I need, we'll need to debrief after this for yes. sure. But we also have the group chat. So I was explaining to you about the typical group chat, guys. The group chat's going to be a little different today. So since I'm doing batch recording, um, you know, trending topics. I don't know what's going to be trending in several weeks. So instead, we're going to do some like hot seat questions. Mm -hmm. And let me know if you guys like this. If you want me to interchange, we'll see how we like it. So. The hot seat questions. First of all, welcome to the group chat. Are you ready? I am ready. Amazing. So first question, mm -hmm. Little, we'll start with some tea. Okay. What celebrity do you think is overrated? Guys, just like trust the process with this one. Okay, don't jump into conclusions yet. Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, that's, you're ruffling some feathers there. <laughs> but for a reason. Okay. okay. For a reason. I feel like. Stay your case. Stay your, stay your case to the jury. Look, look, I just feel like she's an incredible artist. A great lyr lyricist. Okay, I feel like a lot of people think that you know she's just an overrated like pop artist, whatever, and that's that tends to be the people who only hear her songs on the radio. Yeah, and which was me. Her, I yes. I will totally take accountability. Like I was that person where I didn't. I only heard her like on the radio in Target. Yeah, and then they're just like, oh, like the I guess these songs are catchy, but I don't understand like the hype. I don't, the hype, right? But if you actually look at some of her songs that aren't really trending, like her Folklore Evermore albums. I heavily reference Renegade, which isn't even <laughs> on her track list. No, it is incredible. Like she writes her storytelling tactics yeah. are amazing. Yeah. I swear I have to pull up a dictionary sometimes. To like really her, read she, through yes, and you're, it's like her, an analysis. Her vocabulary is like insane. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in English class. And I'm a, like, I'm also a writer. I love poetry. Yeah. Like some of her songs are yeah. just incredibly Would you consider written. yourself a Swifty? Yes. Yes. Of so course. you're saying, which I, to I I totally agree with, because mm -hmm. again, I said this in the last podcast, like yeah. Taylor Swift slander is not welcome here. Like, but honest opinions are, and I agree, she is overrated, but it's to the detriment of how yeah. good of an artist she actually is. Like, exactly. she's gotten to a point where people like write her off so quickly mm -hmm. without actually looking into her. And so I, li I literally made it my mission. My best friend is a hard Swifty. The oh my God. most invested mm -hmm. Taylor Swift fan that I've ever met. Yeah. And so she, I was like, I want to learn what you're talking about. Like, I want to learn yes. what you mean. She was like, mm -hmm. you're going to listen to every album. Mm -hmm. So I went in order. And I mean, it took me like, I'm not a big fan of like the early music, like, yeah. uh, like teardrops of my guitar, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but it didn't take for a long while. I was like, oh, these are, I've like never heard The Archer. I've never heard, like, again, I had never heard Renegade. Um, like I, these songs, I, 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 get, I was like, it literally just took me listening to the albums <laughs> and I was like, I get it. And then of yes. course she's great because she's like a personal like Taylor Swift dictionary. So I will text yeah. her. I'm like, what did this line mean? She's like, oh my God. So on this day, at this time, at this boyfriend and this happened and then queen. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, let's it's go. So, like, I don't know. It's insane the way she's able to put every single part of her life into a song. Yeah. 
but it just works. Yeah. And also the way she hints everything, like at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. at oh, the, the Grammys, the drop at the Grammys. I was like, no way did you yes. just do that. Essentially, the Grammys media is over. Like, mm -hmm. then nothing's going to be about the Grammys. It's going to yes. be about Taylor Swift. And like she changed her profile picture black and white. Yeah. Yes. The 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 mm -hmm. reputation like sort of hinting and yeah. then coming back around with a new album. Mm -hmm. No one saw that coming. Exactly. So and good. And she usually dresses up like based on her album. Does she right? have a stylist? I don't know. I'm, she needs okay. one. Can I be real? Like Yeah. If you saw Ma Okay, if you saw Madison Beer's outfit during the Grammys, stunning yeah simple but elegant beautiful and i was i was talking to my boyfriend about this taylor swift had such a pretty white dress please get a new hairstylist remove the necklaces the hair, the, no, and no, take it's out so, the gloves i never there are there have been very little of her outfits that i've actually liked anytime yes. i see her out and it's in actually when she's out about with her friends, different. I'm like, I totally get your aesthetic. Yeah. When she's on a carpet, I never like her outfit. I'm like, you, t what it's is that? Mess. And I was texting, my again, my friend, like during the Grammys, I yeah. was like, somebody tell me what that hair is. She was like, it's very reputation coded. I'm like, I feel like we could code a, oh, like something else. I, I feel like we could. I think it's, no. No. But that's what's also interesting is that she was dressed black and white. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, reputation like and the gloves yeah. like blended in with the background i was like this none of this no. is good like she's had it a couple dresses good. like the like the floral dress that looked like um like a self-portrait yes. dress like from a long time ago or I think her iconic one where she had a bob and then it was like a tube I <gasps> that was, a tube was one of her pink. best her Wait, best is it pink? fits it, it was, was pink and pink. orange i don't know which one was i think pink or this orange, was orange the skirt was pink i'm pretty sure one of the best oh my god it was she this looked so good. Stunning. Bring that was one of Bob. her best outfits. I, I I will say that is her best outfit. The the mm -hmm. one where she had there was a carpet that she had it was essentially like a bunch of jewels, like or a bunch of she looked like a chandelier. That was yeah. gorgeous because it was a gorgeous yeah, piece. Like but the pink and orange was mm -hmm. styled to her, and it was yes. so good. No, I I love her, and I need I need her to hire a stylist. Or to get a new one. Because like literally not her outfits ate during the concert. Yes. I'm so like, I'm just we like, know what you can do. Bring that what stylist do do? back. No, there's bring that stylist there back. Has to be planned your outfits for yeah. the concert. We need to plan, plan her red carpet outfit. Please, for the love of God, somebody do something. Mm -hmm. Because it on the street, so cute. Uh in the in, in the air store, so cute. <laughs> she put this woman on a red carpet, and I'm like, what? What in the I don't like, get it. What is going the on? It just wasn't good. And the hair I was really, no, no, the I hair was not like good. Where no, she's way cuter than that. From? I have no fucking clue. It was so weird. All right. Next question. Opposite. What who is an underrated artist that you think deserves more hype? Okay. I know she's fairly hyped up. Like she has a pretty big fan base, but it's more of like I think she just needs more appreciation. You don't think it's enough? Yes. Okay. Who? Lana Del Rey. Okay. I'm not a Lana fan. Like I don't really know almost I'm, anything. I'm, I I wouldn't say like I'm a fan, but like I really like her music. Like I don't like it as like so much in a way where I would call myself a fan. Yeah, no, because, I would. Say, I think there's I mean? Lana people, yes. and I agree with you. Like it's not as many, yeah. but the the there's not as big of a group, but they they go deep. Like yes. a Lana fan is a yes. Lana fan. Like yes. they know so much about her. Exactly. Yeah. So and I do so like funny. her music, but it's not like I'm like a diehard fan, yeah like I am like for Taylor Swift yeah but she Lana did not get like any she didn't win no anything. the Grammys for Lana was were sort of how do you feel about Taylor bringing her on stage did you well like, okay yes or no some people thought that like it was oh like it was awkward like why would she bring Lana up there she was on the Lana, album look, like that's I, what I'm saying like she Lana, deserves credit too this is what I'm saying what I mean like how people are so quick to hate on Taylor Swift and I'm like you don't first of all like you don't know much have you actually listened to most of her songs yeah. other than the ones on the radio yeah and then also they're like oh like why would she do that like Lana just looks so sad and awkward up there but Lana was in Lana was in the album, so, like, and it was album of the year. It, so, exactly. she so she deserved to stand up there. Up there. Exactly. And like, everyone hyped it up too. They're yeah. Like, oh my god. I also think Lana so just seems like a like and loved Lana. I just think Lana yeah. seems like an awkward person. So if she looks awkward. It's probably just I because think, she's. I saw this post, but is. I'm not sure if like it was actually real. But she did say 
she responded about it, I think. Really? Yeah. What did she say? I don't know if she actually, like, it was just posted. So. Okay. Well, yeah. What did she supposedly say? She was saying, like, I had the best time, blah, blah, blah. I think she was just confirming that, like, she wasn't miserable because everyone thought that she I, yeah, was. Yeah, I think, I literally and think that's literally just And she literally was like, guys, like, I actually had a great yeah. time. Like, did you chill see, out. Like, yeah. Did you see the picture she posted with a gun? That was like, I was, but, and here's the and thing. It was the last slide too. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's cute. I, like, I what, heard it. What's I heard it. Happening. Take a look at there, you, and I'm like, like what's going on? A little, on? a little like zoom in. I was like, like that's that's a is pistol. That, is that's that? interesting. That's why. No, and it's so funny. I was like, this must be something I don't get because everybody commenting was like, oh my god, that's so Lana coded. I was like, Ooh, what? Do you, what do you mean? Like, what? They're like, oh Lana, she's so random. I'm like, she's holding a gun in an Instagram post. Like, it, like it's I just like what? They're that's like, what ha, 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 right after the Grammys. I'm like, there like, is some inside joke. A lot of don't. fans are a different. Yeah breed there like I said and I, I love like them. her music yeah. I just don't I don't know her that no. yeah. much to be like I'm a fan like you yeah. know what I mean so I was just like oh my so confused mm -hmm. I was like is this right was she yeah. supposed to post this I don't know I don't know all right last last question mm -hmm. who would be your person of the year okay I already mentioned her but it's Taylor Swift it's ta it is Taylor Swift you're like that was well deserved like I'm, yeah no it's just like I just feel like she just deserves so much more recognition, but from people who aren't like. I think she deserves more respect. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like she deserves more respect. I like. Okay, first of all, everyone was hating on her for showing up to like the super, uh, not the Super Bowl, like the games. Mm -hmm. Travis is yeah, like games. literally. It's and a I'm like, like I'm, that's your boyfriend. I think we can obviously. just chill out. Like I think she deserves more respect in the way like. It's almost like everything she does is blown up and like, why don't, let's just leave her alone. Yeah. Like she's, anything that you guys are putting attention around, it's literally just her living her life. And if what if guys, we just did it? Like if the guys get mad that they keep panning the camera to her, NFL is it is not her fault. No. Like she's just existing. NFL like, is just, mad they're doing them. their job. They're get like, listen, we want views. Want. Guess what's going to yeah. get it? Taylor. And I'm like, listen, it's annoying, but I cannot deny like. We know that's yeah. going to work. And then, like, you know, even if it does get annoying, like, it's not like she's asked to be. No, it's not like around. she's one. And yeah. then also, like, when he went to her concerts, everyone was like, that's supportive so king. Sweet. Such a supportive boyfriend. Yep. And I'm like, I'm, isn't that the same energy? I'm yeah. Confused. I don't know. So freaking weird. Um, but wonderful. So that was a little bit of a different kind of group chat. I think it was very fun. Yeah. That was very good. I guys, let me know if you like that type of format versus the top trending stories. But today we do have story submissions. So um I went on my Instagram and we had you guys send in stories about fights that you've had with people that you've lived with, your roommates. This is so good. You have you lived with people before? You're currently in dorms now, so you currently live yeah, with people. Okay, so obviously I lived at my parents' house. Like, yeah, yeah. But it's very interesting because I grew up with three brothers, and now I switched over to living with three girls. Oh my I god! I live in an apartment style type of thing, but it's New York. It's small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there's it's like a kitchen and the dining area in one. Yeah, very tiny. Like what well, you can't even open the fridge all the way because it hits the chair. Oh. Of the dining table. Um, Very New York. We'll call it New York chic. New, mm -hmm. New York chic. New York yes. chic. Yeah. No space. But um, yeah, and then there's two bedrooms and there's two people in each bedroom. So I have one roommate, but I live. That's tight people. quarters. Is it how many bathrooms? One. One bathroom. But like, you know, to be fair, I'm, I'm glad I got this one because the other ones you have to do like the shared bathrooms and you don't have. Like, oh. So I have like the apartments. Right. Style. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. But it's, I don't know. Yeah. No, New some York. of these stories, I was cackling. Honestly, we haven't had this many submissions in a long time. This oh. might have to be a part two, really. I I look, no, let's spill, spill it right now. All right. And it's funny because a lot, some of these, like, there is one thing that, that roommates always fight about. Mm. Um, like, it was very common. And it's okay. actually one of our first submissions. So uh, the question was, like, what has been your worst fight with roommates? This one says, the thermostat <laughs> literally fought over the temp of the apartment. Long story short, I have major trauma. Like the thermostat trauma. trauma. The thermostat answer was so common. Really? Mm -hmm. Which 
like it's such a simple thing, but you got to think if somebody like likes to sleep in like like we love like a 68 or yeah. even like a 67 degrees at yeah. night. Me and my husband like love to mm -hmm. sleep in like cold. And if somebody else is very much the opposite, like either somebody's freezing or somebody is sweating and like can't sleep. And that that is the worst. See, I've never experienced that because I feel like my roommate and I get along very well. And we have a lot of things in common. But what's really funny is that also we're very like cautious of each other. Like we're scared. You have to be. I know. You have to It's be. just really funny because there have been so many times where I would just be like, um, are you hot in here? And then she'd be like, oh my God, yes, I am. Oh, you, and then you guys I would be like, like suffering in I silence. Was like, Thank God. I was like, can I turn off the heater, please? And she's like, yes. It's so funny. Yeah. Every single time one of us asks, it's like a sigh of relief because we always agree. And because like, it's like That's awkward. Because nice. it's just like, oh, are yeah. you hot? And then the other person would probably be like, no. And then you're like, nah, never mind. Yeah. Like, you know, have you, I mean? have you heard of the safe word rule? Not, no. not like not in a relationship, but like the safe word. Okay. This is, so I, I'm, I, I made it up. Like really? I will totally take credit for it because I didn't see anybody else do that. And then I posted a video about it and it went viral. It was great. So the safe word rule for any time that you're living with anybody, this could be roommate, this could be significant other, whatever. I promise I've never had an issue living with anybody. And I oh think God. one, it's because I'm a peach and two, because the safe word rule. So it started on my very first night in college, sat down with, we had, it was Jack and Jill. So it was bedroom, bedroom, and then bathroom connecting. Um, oh. And yeah. And so, and then, so I was in a bedroom with my roommate and then a connecting bathroom. And then we had a suite mate. She actually had her bedroom all to herself. Oh, okay. So it's just three of us. Yeah. Sat on the floor over chips and salsa. And so we're learning about each other. Of course, like we're about to all live together. None of us had ever lived with anybody like that before. Yeah. And I was like, let's, Let's start a safe word for if we need to give somebody feedback or say something about like, hey, we need to do this to live in harmony together. Okay. Let's make up a safe word to basically be like, let's put guard down. I'm coming from a place of it's not, you know, I'm not trying to dog on you or be mean, oh. but I want us to live together in, in peace. So I'm going to express something that has been bothering me so that we can have a nice chat about it. So ours was snowman. Or the very first safe word that I ever oh had God. was snowman. And it worked so well. So coincidentally, I got snowman the most, which was interesting. Oh. But it's because I lived, so I'm pretty laid back and I lived with somebody and she yeah. was literally my matron of honor. Like, I love her. Very, very anal. Like, very, she likes oh. things a very certain way. Really? Um, yes. And it honestly, she trained me well. Like, a, like I so great. I cleaned the microwave. <laughs> but like, I'd never been with somebody who didn't, who you had to clear the microwave or else oh. like it really bothered her yeah. or if the rug like got moved really mm -hmm. bothered her if the shower curtain yeah. was not closed really bothered yeah. her and I just wasn't used to these behaviors so she would be like snowman Sarah if you don't close the shower curtain I will slit your throat in your sleep so um we oh should my God. we should she'd never actually said that to me but <laughs> that, that's how I interpreted it and I was like yeah no Totally. And so I learned to close a shower curtain and I could be, I never actually had to snowman her, but it was like, it'd be like snowman, Emily, I need you to clean your dish. It's kind of been out for a while and it's getting kind of smelly and gross. And she'd be like, oh yeah, no, totally got it. Yeah. But it's essentially getting like getting your guard down uh -huh. so that it's like, hey, it's, it's like no offense, but not being rude. So now me and my husband have penguin. So we, and we've penguin each other. Like We're like, similar yes, no, it's, <laughs> it's all my other one with a friend is walrus. Like for whatever reason, oh it's, it's cold mm -hmm. themed, but we're like penguin. Uh, what have I gotten penguin for? Um, oh, penguin when I cook dinner like say like I cooked enchiladas or something yeah. like I would serve the enchiladas and then you know we'd eat dinner and yeah. the enchiladas would be like on the oven and yeah. I would not I would wait till after dinner and clean up to them box everything up he'd yeah. be like he was like penguin I actually don't like when the food sits out I, f I find it kind of gross oh. um can we just go ahead and box it up I was like oh the reason I do that is because it's still really hot he's like I know can we just do it anyway and I'm like yeah <laughs> or like penguin Sarah, you keep putting this in this spot. Oh. It's not even where it goes. And I'm tripping over it or something like that. It works wonders. It was it's great. Really? I love and you know what we do? What? <laughs> Which we probably should just do that. No, because, I know. Like we we will call out if someone, you know, does something. Yeah. But, but it can be awkward. It, it is. So it's we awkward. have our roommate group chat. Okay. And oh we we just I could get dicey. <laughs> we just like casually. <laughs> Text like, like, hey, um, you the, haven't hey. really 
done the dishes and it's just been out, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I just think again it's like the whole cautious yeah. thing yeah and, also and you're trying to like all... skirt around it and you're like i yeah. don't but i have to say something but this is very awkward yeah so we just been texting yeah it's yeah. very helpful I mean, it works but... it works it but it's very help like a safe word is very helpful for the people who are like scared to give feedback yeah. and the people who are also scared to take it yeah. like give, it makes giving feedback a lot easier and then also for the person who is like not as good as at taking feedback it lets yeah. them know hey i'm not mad at you i'm not coming from yeah. a place of like i hate you or anything mm -hmm. i'm coming from a place of like i want us to live together and be happy and yeah. so like in order to do that could you please do this and that yeah. way it kind of levels the playing ground mm -hmm. next one um so roommate cleaned out fridge and threw out 10 pounds of good chicken i said something to her and then she hid in her room for a week and then texted a long apology explanation as to why she did it i mean i guess like cleaning out the fridge is like a pretty good thing but if you didn't buy the, I'm assuming she didn't buy the chicken. Like ten pounds of chicken is a lot of money. Like yeah, okay, but like it's a common thing as a roommate where you just don't touch. You don't food touch the other's you know. food. Like, I know we label our names. Like we label with our names. Like, really? Yeah. No, it's really funny. If you go through our fridge, everything is labeled with our names. But also, it's just like even if it's not labeled and you know it's not yours, you're not going to touch it. Right. So. No, if anything, if, if it needs to be cleaned out, hey, your moldy cheese is in there. Please take it out. Thanks. 10 pounds of chicken is so 10 pounds of chicken is a lot. I would Honestly, I would be mad too. My college roommates rearranged the cabinets while I was at my grandma's funeral. So I read that and I was like, okay. And she said, for reference, I'm OCD and it threw me into a panic attack. That's really sad. If you know, also, that sounds nefarious. Like, your roommate's at her grandma's funeral. You know that, like, she likes things a certain way and you rearrange the cabinets. That's such Again, a, like, that's like such... It's just to be able to, to live dig. with someone, you need communication. How do you just not say anything? Yeah, like, I see, I feel like there's no that way that happen? wasn't purposeful. Like, I, like I, they I, said, you know what? We're going to do something that seems harmless, but we know that this will throw her like, off. Imagine just coming home like, hey, sorry, your grandma died. I also reorganized everything. I everything. that's fine. Yeah. Like, I mean, I would hope that that was coming from a good place, but I something know. tells me it was oh not. Something tells me that was not. This person said they fought over a dirty fork on the counter. They stopped talking for a week, but it was because she was uh, hiding my surprise party. <laughs> but I was like, what the fuck? So I guess, yeah, there was like a dirty fork. They had a conversation. And then okay. all of a sudden it was like dead silence. And she's like, are you fucking serious? And then it turns out she was uh, oh. planning her surprise party. Oh my, my What awkward timing. Never. No, <laughs> no I anxiety? would literally be like, do you hate what? me? <laughs> like, what's wrong? Like, am I getting evicted? <laughs> <laughs> am I getting evicted? Over a fork? <laughs> like, oh my mm, God. That's so funny. Mm. Stop <laughs> what? It says, my friend told me that my lack of intelligence amuses her. <laughs> we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Imagine. Oh. What a way to do a, such a slap in the face. And like a compliment. Oh my God. Like you're so funny. Your stupidity makes me giggle. <laughs> like you're not even funny because of your humor. You just have like you're a small dumb. brain. Like, I love how what? dumb you are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. There's literally so many. We're going to like, we're going to, I'm going to see how many we can do. And then I'll okay. probably have to do a part two guys. Like yeah. honestly. Okay. Uh, again, the stupid AC. One girl wanted it hot and the rest of us were dying. The AC? Toxic. Oh my God. The thermostat is, that will be the downfall. If you, if anybody is going to like live with people, one of your vetting questions need to be what That's temperature do you like? Crazy. Yeah. Wild. Okay. My, my situ, this is okay. <laughs> Follow the relation. All right. My situation ship's sister started verbally throwing hands, which I also like, she said verbally throwing hands. Okay. I'm guessing just like yelling That's at you. Such an interesting way to put it. Yeah. After a male friend of mine stopped to catch up with me. So, okay. Situationship okay. sister. Guy comes over, starts chatting. The sister got pissed. Then a few minutes later, came back for round two in my face, coming back and like yelling at her, accusing me of disloyalty and threatening me with her and her sister's non-existent authority. <laughs> Okay. So many layers. Like, there's so much. So many layers. So situationship. Okay. There's, you have, if it's a, like, you have no claim to anything. It's, okay. you're the sister of the situationship. Who are you? A guy comes over, starts, you know, harmless, like catching up. How are you? Hello. Yeah. And so she starts going off 
and threatening with her and the other sisters that, non-existent okay, authority. That is crazy. Because, like, one, like... I wonder if she knew not, that it was a situation ship or if she I thought, wonder. like... But even so, like, I feel like there should be some sort of boundary. Like, I... I have brothers. Right? How are you? And it's like I feel like situationship. Like, would you know their family? In my under the, all the situationships I've heard of, like you don't have contact with the family. That's too no. close. No. So I'm just I don't know. Like I why is she so defensive? And also why is she all up like that? Yeah. Like I feel like as a sister, because yeah. as a sister um, of a brother, Same. I feel like yeah. Uh, yeah. I would if I thought that it was like a girlfriend thing. Yeah. And that, you know, something, you know, there was a more serious relationship mm -hmm. and I thought that that girlfriend was with me and like flirting with another yeah. guy. I probably just because I'm like, I'm staying out of your business, but I would go to my brother. I yeah. wouldn't like yell at her. Also, I just feel like it depends on the context of the situation, too, where it's like if like i don't know i just feel like who okay who is this guy like i'm confused right like how do you know him and how how was how the do you know his sister how is it how are you guys close are you guys hanging out i feel like, like situation ship i mean i realized there's a range no but also That's the weird. guy that like she was catching up with it depends like unless it was like really like straight up flirty like yeah overly fun. okay but still like you still you still need to chill with it and like yeah talk to your brother no it's, but that's it's, very weird i feel like there should be more context to this that's i don't know okay very odd behavior um next one fight was over using my dish my dishes and then keeping them in her bedroom and letting them mold before cleaning no. dishes will dishes and the thermostat will tear down a roommate situation like oh. the i bet if you did a poll on hey if you fought with your roommate how many of you fought and it was about either the thermostat or dishes i i would it has to be like over 80 percent of the poll i had like a pretty much like a penguin you had a penguin moment, moment? kind of okay okay so i <laughs> our sink got clogged up and that sucks like it was it was just like the water would not go down and if it did it would go down for a very very long time right and Need a little you know dry now. everyone was trying to do the dishes but you could only clean like one plate at a time oh my god the I could water see oh unless it would overflow and then the water kind of turned into like a muddy pond and then everyone is like so confused they're like why why is it oh that's right? gag worthy so we, we got we got like you know the maintenance guy mm -hmm. he like unclogged it and stuff and then he was like who made noodles <gasps> wait hold on so the maintenance guy comes in he made who made noodles and who made rice <laughs> <laughs> and then you see all three of my roommates turn around and look at me and I, i'm like <clears throat> why that, mm. and then he was like oh you know just he was like nice he was like yeah. just be careful because you know that's there's a lot it's, of rice in here and then, it's a lot like, of rice in here it's so funny that like everybody's like what's going on with the sink and you're probably with me you're like what's going on with the sink like what the fuck and then he's like noodles and rice looks over to arwen like and i was like I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't... Because I was cleaning up, like, you know, like, I had yeah. a rice cooker and I was cleaning right. it up. And, like, it's just, I you guess, just, just a lot went down the drain. And then, like, I don't know, it just got clogged up. And, Is like, there a garbage disposal? I mean, I live Wait. in, like, a dorm. So, like... Hold on. It's not like we don't... I have a dumb have question. Do New York apartments have garbage disposals? The little thing on the sink? Like, what do you mean? Like, the thing, like, if you... Like, where you put food in and you flip the switch and... Uh, no. <laughs> no? No? New York apartments don't have garbage disposals? Well, at least my dorm doesn't. I'm look, I'm thinking about my friend's apartments. I don't think they do. I don't know. It. I don't... That's it was so really funny. Awkward, it's just like though. this thick caking of rice and noodles. Yes, just, like, and then I was like, oh, so I did the awkward giggle. And I was like... And they weren't mad. Yeah. They were just like, girl... You're just like... They're like, you're doing all the dishes. So I was yeah. like... Yeah, like, I'm on dish duty, like, my no, bad. I I'm not going to argue because obviously I deserve it. That is... And so then it was like, oh my God, I had my gloves on and I was like trying to clean and it was... You are a... So gross. You're a glove dishwasher? No, I'm usually not. But you know... With, with that? Just like that? You're like, yeah. Just like it was just staying in that water. Mm -hmm. I've never like, washed the dishes with gloves, but I see a lot of people who like... Like, they only wash the dishes with gloves. 
I I've never no, done that I before. Just, I did it just because okay. you know, of that situation. Yeah. Like poll poll in the comments. Do you wash the dishes with gloves or do you not? Because I realize this is a lot more really. Yeah, this is this is a lot more common than I think. What's the the history of garbage disposals in New York City? Banned. They were banned they until were 1997. Garbage disposal was invented nearly 100 years ago, although it didn't become mainstream until around the middle of the 20th century. What? Blah, blah, blah. Wait, so why don't more people have garbage disposals now that they're legal? Oh, it's just it's the clogged pipes. Like, things are so old. I, I mean, guess it's... Also, since it was banned, like... Garbage disposals are a luxury. Oh, and New York City buildings have narrower pipes. That sucks. If I didn't have a garbage disposal, What? There's no way. Oh my god. I would not. That would I would not be. Mm -mm. Yeah, really. Yeah. That's crazy. We'll do one more and then we literally have like two more pages of these. This is gonna have to be a part two, guys. You guys really showed out with these. Um, next one. Oh, this is coming too. She let her boyfriend, who I never met, stay in our apartment while we both were out of town and didn't tell me. Like the boyfriend staying over, I feel like no. that's a very common thing. No. If that's I wouldn't have an issue with my roommate's boyfriend, like staying while we were yeah. out of town okay. but you'd have to run it by me exactly like with my so like i said a group chat's really helpful yeah we always run it by like hey i have a friend usually if you have like just a friend staying over for a little bit like you just like let us know it's like yeah. whatever but if someone's sleeping over like or anything like that yeah. or especially like your my boyfriend. sweet mate would even like me and emily eventually yeah. um my roommate like the next three years because i was in dorms all three years yeah because we were a very very small school mm -hmm. and so then we still had the jack and jill rooms but we ended yeah. up buying out the other side so we became sweet mates so it was okay. like her room bathroom and then my room she would even let me know if like her boyfriend was coming over to her room yeah like you just it's common yeah, courtesy yeah you just you like, say yeah put it in the group chat mm -hmm. yeah it's like hey is it okay if you could have like have this person like over or sleep yeah. over and it's chill like it is whatever i just again like i feel like a lot of these stories you just need to have better communication yeah it's That's yeah Unless somebody's just like unclean and um, let their puts their dishes in the bedroom and lets them mold, that's, that's disgusting. Gross. That's disgusting. We're gonna have to do a part two because there's so many stories. Um, but oh my god, thank you so much for coming on. Hi. You're a fabulous guest. Thank if you. people want to follow you, learn more about FIT, learn about more about fashion and makeup. Like seriously, guys, when I'm telling you, her makeup videos are killer, killer. Where can they find you? Well, you could find me. My name is Arwen Sellis on TikTok. And then my Instagram handle is Arwen Q Sellis. I don't know. I guess someone took Arwen Sellis already on Instagram. But, oh. So I had to put in my little. I might have to do some like changing of my username because. Really? Yeah. I think I told you this, that people think I'm Sarah Hebbis or Sarah Ebbis. Um, what? Yeah. I thought that it would be very clear that the E was my middle name. It was Sarah E. Boss. It is not clear. So I might be putting some periods or something because <laughs> it's but, not good. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Hey. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed these episodes. I love the story submissions episodes. They're some of my favorites. Please send in your requests for stories as well as guests. Um, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I love you so very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.